eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Meet me at the crossroads, 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 so you don't be lonely. Y'all. <laughs> we had to get on here and just say goodbye to the edges that she once had. Ooh, wait, girl, go, 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 go. First off, let's just start. I don't, you know, I don't even know where to start because this, I, I got to stop laughing. That's number one. But this is the thing that's getting me with it. She gets on here and she focuses so much on her hair that I guess she thought we weren't going to focus when we noticed that it was thinning. And then what gets me is, yes, postpartum baldness is something women go through, okay? But Olivia, good. This hair has been looking damaged, fried, and died, and laid to the side for a while now. So let's not even try to pretend. See, we got screenshots for it. If y'all know, Olivia has always swooped down baby hairs, but she's always had a bald side. Mm -hmm. That left side has always been a little thinner than the right. But what does she expect when she goes and puts on wigs and she puts clip-ins in? And people don't realize that all that got to be glue and them uh, gels that you put on what you think is baby hairs when grown women don't have baby hairs, that will break your edges off too. Olivia, we seen that your hair wouldn't even curl anymore. Can you say heat damage? Can you say heat damage? We noticed that your hair wouldn't even curl anymore. We noticed once you start dating Zolo, you and old struggle puffs were starting to look a lot alike. Uh-huh. We all noticed. We kept an eye. And if you don't believe me, you know, I've put little clips on in here. So we know this is way before the whole pregnancy debacle even started because, girl, it was starting to thin, baby. See it right there? When you had that little ponytail, when you had that little ponytail -o, uh uh-huh, you was starting to, uh uh-huh, gelled up, weaved up. Your stuff is jacked up. So that was way before so-called postpartum. But see, let me say one thing about Olivia. All she does is throw her hair in people's face. That's all she does. See, when you idolize something as much as Olivia does, her skin color, her hair, and her eye color, things start going wrong with that, okay? So, Olivia, when you started idolizing your skin color, it just kind of grew. Your skin just kind of grew all over the place. Then you start idolizing your hair, okay? All the time, swinging it, flapping it, good, period. And now look at it. Uh-huh. It's about to thin as a pencil. It's about to thin as a pencil. So, guess what? You better stop talking about that eye color, girl. You better stop talking about that eye color, girl. Before you have some wet bifocals or something. With her, you never know what's coming. But I will say this. Girl, I would have used the excuse. See, this shows you how Olivia does not care about her children being gone. Because, see, I would have got on here. You think I care about my hair falling out? Yeah, of course my hair going to fall out. My hair is falling out all over the place because I lost custody of my children. So maybe my hair will grow back, not because I'm dabbling on some growth oil that I went to Dollar General and put there. You know how they have little sticks of oil, the argan, the tea tree and stuff? Not because you blended some stuff together and now you're saying it's grow back. Girl, you should have said I'm stressed. My kids is gone. I only can see them. 42 days this summer. I am P.O. But no, 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 no. You rather uh, sit over there and brag and have them, uh, what do we call them? Scratch and sniff boobs. Your scratch and sniff boobs. Girl, ugh. You know what? You better stop talking about folks here. Because you see what's going to happen. Ooh, y'all. This was short, but I just thought it was funny. You know we had to touch on them edges or lack thereof. I will see y'all in the comments because question, we know she don't miss her kids, but wouldn't you have used that at least as an excuse and be like, my hair falling out because I miss my kids. I'm sad. I'm here alone. I'm lying all the time. I'm miserable. I still can't drop, <laughs> drop receipts on Storm. And most importantly, maybe you should have said your hair is falling out because your best friend is Jasmine. Uh-oh. 
But we never thought about that, huh? Maybe your hair falling out because your best friend, Jasmine. If Jasmine was my best friend, my hair might be doing some things too. But, mm, okay, let's stop being messy. I'll see you in the comments below. Love y'all.